Hi all, good morning. Uh, uh, my name is Saurabh Dhani and today we'll be talking about how you can use the designer feature in Business Central. Uh, so with the designer feature you can do certain stuff which are not possible with the personalized option and it also gives you a, a different options than a personalized mode and we'll talk about what those differences are uh, in the later part of this video but for now let's uh, start up our uh, central environment and let's understand what is the design mode and how we can do that so um, let's start going it through from let's say on the customer page as we went into the design mode uh, so once you are in the page which you want to design you can always click on the gear icon and choose design so once you click on design there are multiple options and we'll go through them one by one let's assume there is a field in the customer page that you are not able to see on the list but you want that you can always click on plus field which will show you all the fields which are available there uh, placed mean that they are already part of the page where you are and ready means that they are there but not yet added and if you need them you can just select them drag them at the place where you want and place them there it will get added into that particular location so as you can see now city is placed and city icon is changed or the detail here is changed to placed so that's one of the things that you can do uh, uh, just for example if you want location to be seen before city you can always drag it and place it before city and all if you if you see I'm doing all these changes in one go I'm not stopping in the middle so you can do multiple changes at the same time uh, now let's talk about actions what we can do on actions that's pretty sure that right now there's no capabilities of adding new actions but you can always come inside the existing actions which are there and then decide what you want to do so let's assume I can let's see what options are there I can move it I can remove it or just while before designing I want to see what this report does I can run it in the same way these options will be available everywhere so let's decide that I don't want sales code so I can remove it and I also don't want my users to see sales invoice so I'll also remove that now that's being done let's move to the card page and see what other options we see uh, you can also uh, set uh, these as hide or you can move their placement with business central 2020 wave 1 the version that I'm using right now it also shows you the parts which are hidden and if you want to make them available you can always do that so that you can change it to show and uh, when you complete your design mode this will be visible on the page going forward so let's go to the card page on the customer card page and do some designing over there once you get into the card page you you will see some different options that were not visible into the list page so it varies from page to page where you are so right now uh, if you understand that these fields are marked as prompted so they will always be visible and then there are certain fields which are only visible when you click on show more like service zone code document sending profile so by default they are not visible because uh, Microsoft decided that they, those are fields that you may not need as a user of business central but let's assume that you want responsibility center to always always be shown you can always come here and change it as show always so that will make it enable there at the same time if you think that when you go to show less you don't want to see balance due you can always remove it from uh, normal show prompted and you can put it under show more so once you click on it that change is already applied so these are kind of different things that you can do 
at the same time if you don't like what the name is here which is journal you can change it let's say I want to call it as customer info so I can change my tab names if I want and that that that'll get applied into the design mode uh, if on so uh, on uh, on the under actions it's kind of same what we saw over there you can again move remove or hide the same things are available for uh, the fact box area the thing that you'll see here also that if you are developing uh, or designing the page for a different or for multiple audience like for tablet client and for the phone client you'll see all these icons on the top that how this page will now look like when somebody from the tablet client uses it how he will see it what kind of fields he can see how the look and feel will be and how it will be shown when somebody looks at it from the phone client so you can uh, change the design based on uh, so that it caters all type of users either from the browser or from the tablet or from the mobile devices so you can preview those designs while this is happening now uh, let's uh, talk about what is possible and what is not and that's kind of becomes important and that uh, is kind of a difference between the personalization mode and uh, the design mode so in per when as you would have seen in the previous video the personalization are uh, specific to you what you are changing and they'll only be visible to you but when you get do some changes into the design mode you need to make sure that they the changes that you are making are applicable to all the users because as soon as I end my design mode it will apply for all the users who are using it they are not personal to my uh, my view so that's one of the major difference between personalized and design the design applies to all the users and personalize applies to me only so that maybe you are feeling that that's a little bit risky how designer uh, when people will change it how it will impact so we'll see that uh, you can add fields columns as we saw you can change things how they look but you cannot uh, add certain fields which are not bound to the uh, pages so that's very important so we have seen majorly everything that's in design so the major difference between design and personalize is where it applies to the second thing which is very important and this may be for the business central SaaS customers design mode is currently only available for the sandbox if you are on on cloud and for on-prem it's always on and any changes that you do uh, want to do in the design mode that should be done into the sandbox environment now let's try to end our design mode and see what happens when we stop our design mode so when I click on stop designing a window will pop up which will ask me certain detail what is the extension name and we'll talk about it in a minute let's say I'm saying customer page changes and who's the publisher let's say I'm putting my name and I'll just to make it easy and I will explain it I'll, I'll just click it download code you don't have to but I, I just want to show you something so that's why I'm clicking it and I'll say save so it's doing some save and if you see on the ribbon here I, I have a zip file and we'll talk about it so what actually happened when you enter into the design mode and then uh, with done with your thing what you wanted to do on the customer page and let's see what those changes look like you actually created an extension and that extension is now part of your tenant or your database so anything that you're changing behind the scene that is being converted to a code and that code is automatically applied to your tenant and that's the reason that it applies to all the user you cannot choose extension based on user that this user will be able to see it or this user will not so that's very important so let's see 
where I can see that extension is so if you go to set up an extension and click on extension you'll see that there is a extension with the name customer page changes and if I go into details of it it'll tell me that who built it which is my name and that's very important that you see who built it uh, okay let me click on it I'll not change anything but just to make sure so it tells me that it's version 1.0 who was pub publishing it is sort of and this is some internal details but if you remember on while we were completing our design mode we clicked on that boolean download code so what it actually did is downloaded the extension code which is here so what I did is I actually modified two pages the customer list page and the customer card page so it actually created two extension uh, two page extension one is for the list page and one is for the card page so if I open that I'll be able to see what code has been written on it and how it looked like so if you remember what we have done is we have placed the responsibility center while doing that and we have also changed the history fact box which we made visible and then we modified the two actions if you remember and removed them from prompted so they are there but they are not visible in the same way let's have a quick look on our other page extension which is created where what we did is we modified the responsibility center and make change its important to standard whereas we modified the base due amount LCY and change it to additional and then on the uh, 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 caption of the tab we change it to customer info so now that's part of your tenant and every user who is using the system when they go to the customer card they'll see the customer information rather than the general tab so let's have a quick look before we end this so when I click over there it now shows me as customer info now that may be one of your worry that what happens if everybody start designing and which makes logical sense and Microsoft have completely thought about it so you can always look into permission sets which are available with Business Central and there will be a permission set and let me filter it out which makes it easy call extension uh, sorry uh, visible field I'm trying to do a filter on name uh, permission set and the value I'm looking for is extension so let me see what happens okay and I'm looking for something which have word extension so what happens is there is now a permission called d365 extension management if a user have this permission then and only then that user will be able to design so you need to make sure as a system administrator that you assign this permission to a limited set of people in your company and not to all the users in the organization the last thing before we end this video is how it works uh, for the SaaS environment so as I said earlier you can always use sandbox environment to use design mode once you have uh, done your design your users are happy with it they, they or you are happy with it what you wanted to do and you think that this is the right design for certain pages for all the users you can always go back to extension management page and download the source code for that so let's go back there if you didn't check that boolean which I was saying that it's not important if you go to the extension page and you go to the customer page changes you always will be able to download the source and then with this extension you can uh, your partner and you can work together to make it available on the, on your production tenant so it makes it easy that you do all your changes on test or sandbox which makes uh, which makes sense because you don't want to interrupt what users are doing in the production and when you are okay you coordinate with your 
partner and then you get it deployed on your production which is not much of the work because the code is already written by the design mode so you don't have to, you or your partner don't have to work on rewriting that code which is already written so hope this video makes sense and it clears all your doubts about how to use designer in business central uh, let me know your views as comment if there is a particular topic that you want me to talk about and record a video about uh, also put it as comments uh, as a suggestion video i'll try to make i'll you know i'll try to record it if i know about it otherwise i'll make sure that i learn it and i make it available to you on the same channel thank you for watching see you next time